Good morning and welcome to the Roebling Bridge. It is May 18th and we're here uh, with Ron Futrell and he is with LRT Restoration Technologies. And he's gonna tell us about what's going on here on the Roebling. So Ron, uh, what do we have going on behind us and where do we stand with our restoration? Um, right now, they the first thing we did was we removed all the mortar. Okay. Okay. And then after we removed all the mortar, we are now patching the stone with the patch material that was approved, with which was analyzed by the stone samples I sent away. And there's four different colors that they're using because these stones, if you look, they're all different colors. There's four or five different stages involved. One, one is if it's if it's like an inch or less, it's just patched. But if it goes deeper than two inches, then what we, we got to put stainless steel pins in there, and that helps hold the material from falling back off. We have to make a slurry coat like peanut butter, rough up the edge for the, the face of the stone, and then you smear that on there, and that, that helps the patch material stick to the original stone. What are the worst things that happen to bridges like this? Is it the changing seasons? Is it's, it the it's, the, it's the weather. It's okay. the weather. You'll go from in early spring, you'll go, you'll, you'll have a warm day and then uh, say it rains, but then at night it freezes. Well, that, when that rain sits on that stone and freezes, it expands. And when it expands, especially in the mortar, it'll pop the faces off of the stone. Um, because of the freeze at night, and the same thing happens in the fall. Um, most bridges of this age were built with a hydraulic lime mortar, which makes it breathable, okay. so that moisture has a place to escape through the mortar joints. You gotta look at every stone as, as, as an individual stone that is, this stone might be approached a different way than the one next to it. Depends on the condition of the stone. Um, this one might need um, just tuck point and one might need a Dutchman replacement depending on the size of the uh, the damage of the stone. All right so Ron you guys uh, closed the bridge in March here we are in mid-May looks like you guys are making a lot of progress yes. uh, can all the people around this area look forward to using this bridge later on in 2021? Oh yes no problem there'll be no problem at all getting it back up and running um, Right now we're working on the four most difficult elevations to get those out of the way to make sure that the bridge will be open in time. Um, there's more work on, on the elevations we're on now. Uh, once we get that under our belt, it, it'll be smooth sailing after that.